Um, in your relationship sector, the first message that I got when I was shuffling out the cards is, I feel for some of you, an, a flamboyant ex of yours, somebody that you've had like a really long history with, that you might have broken up and not heard from them for months or years, I feel like they're doing some type of attention seeking. They're possibly posting, you know, um, like those throwback pictures. There, a picture with you know with you in it possibly like the last time that you guys went out with a group of friends and so it's sort of like a lure a bait to see whether or not you're checking their um, social media to see whether or not you're still um, you know how you're going to react to the fact that they're taking a trip down memory lane I feel for some of you, it could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And I feel like it's somebody who's quite beautiful. Even if they're not physically beautiful, they dress really nice. They're very flirtatious. They have a lot of um, suitors at their door. There's somebody who's also, I feel like, um, sexually promiscuous. Okay, so it, it's somebody like that. They're very open with their sexuality. And I see some pictures that might be, you know, it, it's like them in uh, really extravagant outfits, in extravagant exotic locations, or it's just them posing, like revealing a lot of skin. And I feel like, you know, they, if, if you guys are broken up and you've moved on, they've moved on, I feel like they're single and they're trying to rekindle that flame. Okay, and the person in... um in the picture here is the Queen of Wands. So this is uh, somebody who's quite attractive, very flirtatious. And um, I feel like, you know, there's an air here about um, attention seeking uh, and possibly being very revealing with their clothing, with their, it, they're very provocative. And it doesn't have to be bad, but I, I feel like there is this energy about wanting to reconnect with you, rekindle things with you. And just testing the waters to see if you're looking at their, their pictures, if you're making comments, or if you're feeling um, the same way they do about reconnecting. I feel like some of you are already in another relationship. And so this person is single and they're not really happy about being single. This is someone that kind of need another person by their side. I'm not getting it from the, the, the depiction of the card. This is just a message I was picking up when I was doing the spread, okay, when I was shuffling it out. And so the way you behave, we have here the Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles is juggling, right? Having two sure options, uh, a current partner as well as an ex. And I feel like, you know, the snake imagery, it could be like a, another person trying to interfere in your relationship. Okay. And interference in relationship, it, it, it can also be like mother-in-law, father-in-law, your own mother, your own father, as well as um, this person that's coming through from the past. Okay. Um, the way that you come out in this love reading is the strength card. This is somebody with a lot of insights, a lot of wisdom. It's an angelic presence. You have the ability to soothe people when they're very distressed. You have the ability to connect with people who are very, very different from you because this is a card ultimately, it's a human and a beast, okay? So you, you are able to calm even the most aggravated um, people and you are able to de-escalate conflict and create this um, space of mutual understanding between two people. So the way your partner, your love interest, whoever you're dealing with sees you is you've got a lot of inner strength about you and inner wisdom. And you have like this uh, really calm sense about you where you want to do the right thing and you will, you know, it's almost like, we're not arguing just to argue. We're arguing so that we can be on the same page, so that we can be understanding uh, of uh, where other people are coming from. This is soothing the beast, calming the beast. So I feel like, you know, shifting into Vir um, Libra season, you have a lot more magnetism about you and you do draw really, really powerful people into your orbit. Okay, and um, I feel like, you know, this is a card of Leo, so you might be dealing with a Leo 
somebody who has a little bit of a hissy fit or they, they need a lot more attention from you. And this is the uh, week where you're going to be able to give your partner or your love interests a lot of advice, a lot of attention, a lot of like um, calling them and, and um, what I'm seeing as well is doing a lot of caretaking for other people. The person that you're dealing with is the Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody who has a lot on their plate. They're very hardworking. And I also feel like, you know, they're trying to get their life in order. They're trying to get all their ducks in a row. They're trying to get their career sorted out. They're trying to get their work life sorted out. They're trying to do manage a lot of things in the household front. I see somebody who's constantly tinkering with things, either fixing things around the house, fixing things with their car, fixing everybody's things. Like um, if something's broken, call this guy. If something needs to be looked at, call this guy. If something needs to be in installed, it's like a someone who has um, a little bit like, I, I feel like a Taurian Gemini type of a personality where they can look at something and they know how to put it back together. They know how to take it apart. They know how the, they, they know like the ins and out of how something works. They could be, you know, doing a lot of things around the house, tinkering with things and fixing things. And I feel like, in terms of like a relationship partner, you're leaving your partner to their own devices. They're doing their own thing. And so I feel like, you know, there is room as well for the ex to come back into the picture. And so be very careful with, you know, reconnecting with people from their past, because I feel like you don't want to send mixed messages. You might want to just reach out to be nice. But I feel like the other person is doing some attention seeking while your partner is occupied with a lot of other things. You have a partner that's very handy. And you have a partner that's really working at the relationship, trying to make things work, trying to balance things out, and trying to, you know, create something for themselves and to cultivate things for themselves. So you have a really good partner here. But I feel like the energy might be, for example... Um, they could be an earth sign with this pentacles card. Um, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Excuse me, let me fix the screen here. Something popped up on my computer. Um, another earth sign, so Capricorn, another Virgo, another uh, or a Taurus. And it's somebody that's a little bit more of a homebody, but I feel like they're getting a lot of things sorted out in their lives. And um, I see somebody who does a lot of yard work as well, so I'm, I'm inclined to say like a Taurian type of a person. And what I feel, though, is between the two of you, the you and whoever it is that you're um, thinking about, we have the world card. And the world usually denotes to me some people like a couple or being attracted to somebody that hails from a different country. OK, someone who's culturally, uh, ethnically, <clears throat> linguistically very different from you. And because they're different from you in these intrinsic way their way of doing is very very different from your way of doing and it doesn't indicate to me you know disharmony or anything like that but I feel like it indicates to me a lot of communication that needs to be said it's almost like you don't instinctively understand why they do the things that they do and so they have to take that extra step to explain to you their rationale and you likewise they might not understand where you're coming from and so the extra step, the air on the side of over explaining, I feel like that's going to be very crucial so that they understand your thought processes and your rationale be behind why you do what you do. And with the world, this is like planning some major trip. OK, I feel for some of you, there is like a, a planning of like a, a big trip, especially if you are dating a fire sign or an earth sign. And I also feel as well with your partner, their world is expanding. It's like they've got a lot of things, opportunities that are kind of brewing up to the surface. And they, because of that, they're trying to get everything lined up. So for example, if you're traveling, you've got to get, um, you know, the, the itinerary worked out. You have to look at hotel and accommodations. You have to look at rental cars. You have to look at um, getting visas for all these other countries that you want to visit. 
And then I feel like, you know, your partner, if they're thinking about a major career change, they've got to put in the application. They've got to get funding and grants. They have to, you know, get their uh, either their supervisors to act as a reference. So everyone is, um, I feel like with your partner, there's a lot of busy energy and busy work coming through from them. And as a result of it, you might be doing a lot of things on your own for this week. And your partner will come back into the picture, but I feel like there are grander plans and grander schemes that they're focused on. And so their attention is not exclusively on you. So if you're reaching out to a crush and they're not, you know, responsive immediately, don't think of the worst case scenario. Don't think like, oh, they're probably with somebody else. I feel like they've got a lot of irons in the fire and they need to get things sorted from their end. So, you know, just they'll come back at a later date. Okay. In other areas of your life, um, I have a spiritual advice that is coming through for you. And what I feel here is uh, there's a need for you to do you and let other people be. Okay. I feel like there's somebody in your life that constantly comes to you with problems. And um, it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And whenever they come to you, it's like emotionally, they're kind of a hot mess, okay? I get somebody that who um, easily like falls in and out of love, okay? It's somebody, and I'm so sorry, Virgos, my screen, something is popping up again. Okay, so water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's somebody that either has some drinking issues or they have like a really, they have a lot of messy entanglements. I am feeling like, you know, if it's a sister or like a female cousin or like a best friend, they don't make the best choices when it comes to love and relationships. They might be getting back together with like an ex of theirs in the past that you don't approve of. And uh, they, they might have been hiding it. And then you find out about it. And you're just like, you're, they're saying that you're going to be a little bit upset and exasperated because you can't believe that they're taking this course of action. It's not going to serve their greater purpose. However, the advice is, you know, if this is a situation that you're dealing with, exercise loving detachment, okay? And people make bad decisions, yes, but it is ultimately their lives. And when you're dealing with someone who makes emotional decisions, they're not going to be rational decisions. And you're dealing with someone who definitely uh, flies off the handle. Like they, they make emotionally irrational decisions. And they're guided by their emotions. And they feel like, oh, you know, he, the, the ex might not have been ready in the past. And now the ex is finally ready. So it's going to work out. And so... You don't want to be enabling and you don't want to support bad decisions, but I feel like they're going to do what they're going to do and you can talk to them till you're blue in the face. They're going to do what they're going to do. And so exercise this loving detachment and it's easy to be very critical of other people, of the choices they make in their lives, but it's also harder to kind of like slip yourself into their shoes and and really understand where they're coming from, okay? So I feel almost like we can't really judge another person unless we've walked a mile in their shoes and we have been through whatever it is that they've been through. So I feel like you have to exercise discretion if you choose to, you know, um, intervene or if you choose to give this person a piece of your mind. Because at the end of the day, this is somebody that is coming to you because they need that support. They don't really need you to tell them, you know, oh, you've made a horrible decision. How could you? How could you be so weak and succumb to this temptation? I feel like they need your support. And so erring on the side of, you know, it's less about who's right or who's wrong. And it's less about being right. It's more about trying to seek harmony in a relationship, trying not to stir up the pot and letting people kind of live out their karma. And we shouldn't really interfere with people's, you know, free will, even though we know they're making a bad decision. We don't have to say, I support you, but we can say, I'll be here for you 
no matter what. So I might not support th this decision, but I will be here for you. And so I feel like there is a, an air of judgment here, but I feel like you're also dealing with someone who time and time again makes really bad decisions and they keep coming to you every time they're broken and I feel like they're hiding some information from you as well that you're coming to the realization about. You're like inadvertently digging, uh, not so much like confronting them with the information, but I feel like you're coming, you're, something's coming to light, you're finding out something. And I feel as well, this can be an ex where they're coming to you and uh, under the guise of like, hey, I need some advice. But they still have feelings for you and they're trying to make that emotional connection. And they're trying to as well with the Six of Cups you know, um, reconnect with you, stir up those feelings from the past. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're done and over with it. But I, I also feel like you care about them as a person. But at the same time, you don't want to send the mixed messages. Okay, so it's a little bit of a complex type of a week, because you're dealing with a lot of raw emotions that might be stirred up from the past. The things that people are doing, um, you know, feelings getting stirred up from exes. And I also feel like some of you are not getting the proper attention in your love relationships. Your partner might be, you know, busy. Your partner might be handling um, or juggling a lot of things. Your love interest might be MIA or they might be very distant. So it's really important to maintain your composure, okay? Maintain your composure here with the temperance card. Do things in moderation and err on the side of neutrality, okay? Don't... um. Don't get too caught up in who's right and who's wrong. Okay? Aim for that middle ground and just be very neutral about things. Okay? That's going to serve you well overall. So I hope the reading has been helpful for you guys, uh, Virgos. Take care of yourself, okay? And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.